Hey guys, it's Shell. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Welcome to crap. My battery's about to die. Welcome to Jill's world. Because that's how we roll around here. Hold on, let me go change my battery and then we'll be back. All right, let's try this again. It is Friday. Happy Friday. Hold on. Ah, that's fine. That's fine. Hey, Bella. Hey, sweet girl. Everyone want to see Bella? Say hey. Isn't she so sweet? She's so warm. And I'm so warm. That's not a good feeling. Y'all, <clears throat> I just got home from like over two hour walk. Me and my friend, like we, whew, oof, her breath, oof. Uh, I'm trying to pull up my activity tracker. I, wow. And girl, let me tell you something. So <laughs> we had gotten to a point where we were supposed to turn and we didn't turn. And, and I was like, wait a minute did we i had to put her down because i can't i can't concentrate on my story whenever i'm trying to hold her um so we had gone we had gotten to this point where like it, we cross this bridge and then you go this way or this way and she was like so we were supposed to turn back there and i was like we were i was like i thought we were because i was looking and i was like these houses don't look like the same neighborhood we were in and she's like yeah i was like how far did we walk and she was like about an extra 30 minutes and I was like because we were already at, a, at an hour and a half at this point I was just waiting for the turn I was like damn this is feeling like a really long time to get to back to to our starting point and where we came from she was like I just thought you wanted to keep going because you didn't turn I was like girl I don't know where I'm going but I was like we got in a good workout though girl I got in Right now, I currently have 11,493 steps. I got in, what is an hour? Okay, so that's not accurate though because I had like nine minutes before I even started, which was not accurate. My watch is wet, messed up. That's the whole thing. Um, I was supposed to go to the mall today actually, but they closed down the North Lake Mall. Apple, no, 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 they didn't close down the North Lake Mall. They, Apple was like, peace out, we're out of here. Because this is like the third shooting at this mall in like just a, a couple of months. And I was like, so apparently there was a shooting at the mall. And that day, then it, right then and there, Apple was like, we're out of here. They closed their doors. So um, I went and got it looked at yesterday. And I'm just waiting to hear back from the insurance company on whether they're going to pay for this or not, which they should. So hopefully I will be getting a new watch. But what is... It was like two hours, okay? It was like over two hours. So hold on one second. Anyways, I don't have nails on right now. I was gonna go to Ulta and get this. I've been searching for the perfect pink color and I know what it is. It's OPI's Mod About You. It's matte, it's beautiful. It's like the perfect pink for me. And I Googled it the other day and it pulled up and I was like, oh my gosh, like press on nails. Are you kidding me? So I was going to go to Ulta and it said they had it in store. But then when I went to purchase it this morning, it was like, oh, we can't like, you can't come pick it up. And I'm like, but you said you had it in store. So anyways, then I was just going to get it. And that's why I don't have nails on. But I'm like, my, my hands look so weird without nails. Like I just don't feel like myself. Um, anyways, back to this. I went to, um, on like an hour and a half walk she thought that I just wanted to keep walking. I was like, it's whatever. My, my, my feet are killing me. Like when I was walking up the stairs, I felt like I was like 90 years old. I was like, Oof, I forgot my knee straps, like the little things that I put around my knee. I'll link them down below because I get so many questions about them. I totally forgot to wear them. So hopefully my knees won't start hurting. But yeah, we killed it. We killed it. And I am starving right now. It's 1137. I really don't have plans today because I was going to go, like I said, to the mall. And then that happened. So I'm not going to the mall. Then I was going to do Ulta. And then they're not in store. So I don't know. I don't really have anything planned for today. Other than the mini charcuterie board thing tonight. 
that me and the kids are going to go to. So I definitely, I'm like, I want to dress up, but then I kind of don't. Do you guys, like, why get out of the workout clothes? They're so comfortable. I do need to get out of these, though, because, oh, my God, my back is drenched. It's very humid out there. It was raining a little bit here and there. Um, I at one point was wearing my hoodie, and then I was like, it's too hot for this. But it was nice. Good conversation. I'm telling you, if you can find someone to walk with, Especially if you like the conversations just flowing, like both of you are just like, da -da 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 -da. seriously, just it's the best. It's the best. So, um, I go Monday with my other friend, and we're gonna go have lunch first, and then we're gonna go for a walk. But my feet are literally killing me, um, and I still have another workout to do. But let's see, um, I'll probably do that. Yeah, I'll do that then. What was I gonna say? My brain isn't functioning. I need to go eat. So I'm going to show y'all. This is my fried chicken salad. I showed y'all last week how I make my ranch dressing. So I'm going to go ahead and make my ranch dressing. And then I'm going to show you what I put in my fried chicken salad. And it is so freaking good. I've been craving it literally like all the time. It's so filling. And you can, again, load it up with whatever you want that's why i love salads and i love like these bowls i've literally been obsessed with them like sushi bowls obsessed um salads obsessed because you can bulk them up and you are full and you you know it's very low in calories so i think hold on let me pull it up this what i'm about to put in this salad makes this salad 662 calories which is not bad for the amount of food I'm about to show y'all I'm about to eat and consume. But on top of that, you might look at that and be like, whoa, that's, I, I only, I only a lot 400 calories for, for lunch. Well then have only one, I'm going to do two, two fried chicken patties and I'm going to show them to you, but, um, don't use as much dressing. I'm going to put garbanzo beans in there. Don't put as many in there. Don't use as many croutons. Like, you can adjust, you know, if you don't like onion, if you don't like tomatoes, if you don't like this lettuce, then use this lettuce. I think it's so funny when people are like, oh, but that has this in it. I can't use that. Or I'm a diabetic and you use sugar stuff. And I'm like, well, then make it to where it's going to be able for you to eat it and consume it and, and enjoy it. Because, you know, just because you see something on the Internet and you're like, oh, that looks really good. Don't be like, oh, I can't make that because... Adjust it. Adjust it to your needs, your nutritional needs, your macro needs. You know, if it's too many calories, then don't add as much. If it's too little calories, then add more. Like, it's pretty simple. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make my dressing, let it sit, and then I've got to make my chicken patties. Now, I'm going to have to try to find a picture or something. I'll show y'all because I don't have the box because it takes up too much space in my freezer. But I'm about to fry up, no, air fry up two of those chicken patties and then that's going to get cut up into the salad. So I will see y'all after I make the ranch dressing. If y'all want to see how I make it, go to last week's vlog. I will link it down below and I'm going to make that and then make the chicken and then we will come back together and I'll show y'all how I make my epic, most delicious, I crave this all the freaking time, fried chicken salad that is 662 calories. So. Let's do this. Okay, so I wasn't playing when I say, like, I make a big salad, okay? And I got this bowl because the last time I made it, I put the cover on to, like, mix it, and it was, like, it wasn't mixing because it was too stuffed. Okay, so what I do is I'm going to take some. I'm actually going to take the rest of this spring mix. This is an awkward angle, but spring mix, y'all know what it looks like. And I'm going to take the rest of this and I'm just going to set it down into my bowl because it's going to be a really, really, really big salad. Yes, I have a very large appetite and I also just took a two hour walk and I still have another workout to do. So, and this is only like, well, I guess it'll be a little bit more because I don't, I don't really count the lettuce, but I'm also going to take some of this shredded green lettuce. It looks just like this. I got it from Target. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and put the rest of it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of it in there. So we've got a lot of greens going on right here. That's going to be a very filling meal. Okay, so now what I do is I take garbanzo beans 
and for the 660 something calories, it's going to be 87 grams of garbanzo beans. And they're just either called garbanzo beans, you find them in the canned bean section, and they're either going to say garbanzo beans or chickpeas. Chickpeas. Very delicious. Now I'm just going to take some cut up cucumber. So I have cucumber that I cut up that I use throughout the week. I use this in my sushi bowls. I use this in my salads. I don't weigh this. I don't measure this out. I just kind of grab hand, like two handfuls of it. And that's that. And then I have some tomato that I'm going to cut up. It's, it's already kind of cut up, but I'm going to cut it up into strips. I wasn't going to use this one, but since it's all kind of not looking that great, I'm going to go ahead and cut it up into little strips and then into little bite-sized pieces. Y'all can't see what I'm doing. This is a really weird angle. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm really hungry right now and my head is like, do y'all ever get like that where your head, like you're so hungry, your head just feels like really fuzzy? Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm feeling right now. It's hard to explain if you've never experienced it, but I kind of want a little bit more tomato than that. So I'm going to go ahead and get another tomato. I wash this tomato off and I'm just going to cut it like that. And I'm going to go ahead and add this in there too, because I want a little bit more tomato since we've got a big old salad that we're eating today. And I'm just going to salt it up. That is going to go down in join its buddies, its pals, into the bowl. Now from here, I don't know if you can see, no you can't see, my air fryer's over here and I'm just flipping over my chicken patties. These chicken patties have, I think it's like 140 calories, <coughs> like three grams of fat. I have shown this so many times. Yeah, 130 calories in one patty. I think it was like 14 grams of protein, three and a half or four grams of fat. I'm like, it's chicken fried steak and it comes, I can only find it at Walmart. It's in a, uh, let me just go ahead and show it to you on the website. I can only find it, I find it over there. It's not in the freezer section because it's kind of off, but you're, Walmart is different than mine. So you might be able to find it with the chicken tenders and all that kind of stuff, but that's not where mine is. But it is by the seafood and meat area. There's like this little freezer section that has like chicken fried steak, chicken fried chicken. Uh, they also have, I think, some seafood frozen over there. I, I don't know, but I'm trying to think of what else is I'm trying to think what else is in there, but I can't, I can't remember. But let me pull up the picture so you guys can have a visual. So the brand is, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Mystica Ranch. They're so good. That is what the box looks like. And you can use the gravy. I will do that sometimes too, where I will put the gravy and then on the side I'll do potatoes, mashed potatoes, something like that, maybe some rice, and then I'll do a veggie. That's really good, but I've really been loving it for fried salads. Like, so freaking good. So, highly recommend. They're $6.14, so they're kind of pricey. But I say, especially like on your weight loss journey, fitness journey, I, well, I don't know, you might not think for a fitness journey because you might be like, oh, the sodium, the sodium, which is totally fine and I get it. But for me, I don't mind it. Like I am here for it. So now I'm just gonna take these croutons and I'm going to weigh out, I forgot, I always forget this, so hold on. I got one more thing to go in here. I weigh out 24 grams for the crouton, which is gonna add 103 calories. So again, if that is too much for you, in seven grams of croutons, there it's 30 calories. So if you just want one serving, then that's gonna be 30 calories. Your girl loves crunch. I love crunch in my salads. Hold on, let me move it this way so y'all can see me while I'm talking. But yeah, I love crunch in my salads. So that being said, I, I, I take the 100 calories because it's worth it to me. So if it's not worth it to you, then 
find whatever food is worth it to you. You know what I mean? Like, that's just how, that's what I say, like, losing weight, everyone has their own preference, and we all know this, but for some reason, we still all want to get on the internet and judge people for what they're eating, or be like, oh, well, I don't eat that, so I can't make that, and it's like, why not? <laughs> just don't add the croutons, or don't add the egg. I'm about to add a boiled egg. If y'all don't have one of these, I think it was my mom, that I grew up with my mom having one. But it's like, it's so cool. It's just like a little egg slicer. So you put the egg right here, and then it just slices it. And then I like it in more bite size, so I will open it, and then I'll put it this way. So it's already cut like this. Now I want it cut like this. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? So, show the salad again. Uh oh. So just go ahead and put it down, and that's what the egg looks like. So I'm gonna add egg for some nutrition and protein. And then like I said, 24 grams of these croutons is gonna go down in here as well. Now, this might be more calories because, like I said, I think I do like a cup of spinach or like the spring mix. And obviously, you see I have more than that. But like when it comes to vegetables, I try not to be too overly like, oh, I have to be super precise with this because they're vegetables. They're really good for you. And they're so low in calories that... Like, is it really gonna matter? Like, I don't think it's the spinach that's making me gain weight or not lose weight on the scale. You know what I mean? So, it might be the croutons. But, um, yeah. So, I usually don't... I'll count it like the cucumber. I'm not, like, super precise about having to get 20 grams in or... Whoa! You are about to fall. Thank God I saw that. Because this camera... Whoo! Hold on, y'all. Put this in a more sturdy place because mm -mm, we ain't having all and we're not having any of that. But I don't even know what I was saying. Basically, I'm not like super precise when it comes to things like spinach and tomatoes and green beans. Now, if anything starchy like corn, then yeah, I weigh out my corn or I'll measure it out. But things like tomatoes, I'll write that I have a tomato. But if I use two instead of one i'm not worried about like having to calculate the calories if you know what i mean so um we've got four minutes left on this chicken okay so here we go i'm telling y'all these are so freaking good i make them for my kids all the time and they're like literally obsessed with them just like i am they are so tasty so I just go ahead and I cut them into strips and then I'll put that and then I'll just go like this so I can make bite-sized little pieces. Cut this one up. And what I like to do is I'll take like a couple of strips and leave them to the side. I know it's weird, but I like to also have some chicken to the side and then I'll leave some dressing left over so that way I can dip these little chicken strips into my dressing. So I eat that separately. So I go ahead and I take this, put this. See, I think we as women, we shouldn't be ashamed about the fact that we like to eat or the fact that we have big appetites. I think that you just have to find ways around this. Like, I know this is freaking massive. And I'm sure there's people in the comment section right now or people watching this video going, oh my gosh, I could never eat that. Well, good for you. I have a massive appetite. And I'm telling you, when I eat this, I will not feel like satiated until I am like all the way through this. So good for you. Like make the salad, make your salad the size that you want. But this girl right here, I'm a hungry bitch, so. And I'm gonna stop apologizing for it because there should be no shame. Like I should not feel shame, like feel shameful for that. Now, if I just continue to keep, you know, complaining about being overweight and not doing anything about it, and that's one thing. But again, 
I just walked for two hours, girl. I deserve this. And the reason why, like, also, because it's, I, this is why this is so big, too, is I like to go ahead and put the top, uh, put the top on and then shake. So that way, I can get all of my dressing and everything all coated nicely. And I'll just sit here and shake for, like, a minute or so. My dog is going crazy because she thinks this is for her. Baby, this is not for you. Um, you know what? 2023 is the year of me being unapologetically me and not caring what anyone, not changing for anyone. Like if you, if I feel like I have to dim my light for you, you have no space in my life anymore. And I don't apologize for that because this is my year to be like, I've been in my cocoon for the past I don't know how many years and it's time for me to emerge from my cocoon and become the butterfly that I meant to be and this is for those of you who feel like you have to shrink down like I was literally watching some try-ons from when I had just left my ex-husband and then I also remember like there's certain certain try-ons I was like oh I let him back in my life but I was so soft-spoken I was so uncomfortable. I literally had to change my entire being to be with that man. For what? Why did I do that? Why? I had to shrink myself down to fit into his mold and I was never, and I will never fit into his mold. No one will. But like, I just, oh. I was looking at it and I was just like, I didn't feel sorry for myself. I felt proud that I pushed through because I let him back in. As a matter of fact, there's a try on where there is a bruise on my arm that he gave me because I let him back in my life. I did that. No more. No more of that. And I'm just so proud that I can sit here today and say like, I left that because it is hard. It was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. And it's probably the hardest things I will ever have to do. And I didn't do it for me. I did it for my babies. Because I didn't care about myself. I had no self-worth at all. So this is the year too long I spent pleasing other people. Shrinking myself down to fit into someone else's mold of what they want me to be. There is no more of that. I am a really I love and I love hard and if you can't love me as hard as I love you then again you have no space in my life and I just I don't know there's no more shrinking there's no more thinking I'm a bad person or a bad friend or a bad this or a bad that no absolutely not because I am who I'm supposed to be and this is the year that I emerge as unapologetic, unapologetically me and myself and my true authentic self. And I allow myself to be loud because I'm a loud ass bitch. I, I'm, I cuss, I cuss all the time. I won't say the F word all the time, but I will not apologize for saying bitch and ass and shit because I cuss like, you know, God still loves me. And if you don't, if I will, I, the, one thing about me is if you don't like cussing and you're like, ooh, don't, please don't cuss, I will respect that. But I'm loud, I cuss, I, I love to have fun, I love to laugh, I love to go places and do things and be around people who are loud and like to have fun and like to laugh. No more stuffiness, no more like, no, none of that. Anyways, we're going to enjoy this salad. It is delicious. So cheers. I'm like, I feel like this is just all lettuce right here. But it's okay, though, because you know what? This ranch dressing is so freaking good. If y'all have not made it yet, you should just need to. It's so good. But I'm going to go enjoy my salad. Mmm. Drink my water. Let me know if you try this. It's basic. It's simple. So it's not even like a recipe. But I wanted to share because I wanted to share those chicken patties. Because you go look at any other chicken patty. 
and it's like 220 calories, 12 grams of protein, 12 grams of fat, and you're like, what? And it's not filling or anything, 130 calories. I don't know how they do it, but I'm gonna taste, mm, it's so good. Okay, find it at Walmart. I love y'all. I guess I don't know what the heck we're gonna do today. Um, I know I've gotta get some reading in. I probably won't see, I'm assuming I probably won't see y'all until um, maybe later tonight when we go down to the office for our charcuterie board. So yeah. So this literally makes me so happy. I'm so glad I got this footage. My kids did not know that I was filming, but I told them and they were like, oh, and I was like, do you mind if I put you in my vlog? And they're like, no, whatever. We don't care. But this makes me so happy because number one, y'all know I've done a video where I talked about, I didn't want to do stuff like this. I didn't want to do like toning and whatnot. And so many of you were like, do it, do it, do it. And then I saw a couple of comments where y'all were like, if your son is asking you to go work out with, with him, go do it. Don't tell him no. And that like hit me where I was like, just thinking, my son is, I don't want to cry. <laughs> He's about to be 17, y'all, 17. We only have 18 years with our children. They become adults, you know, and whether he chooses to move out at 18, which I'm hoping he doesn't, and he might not, but he might, but he's probably not going to. But I'm just saying, he's going to be an adult next year. And, you know, we only have a little limited amount of time with our children and then they grow up and they have their own families and their own friends and their own lives and all this kind of stuff. So like, uh, I'm just, again, I just, I don't want to like harp on, basically what I'm trying to say is like, thank y'all for like reminding me of that. And I don't think anyone really said that, but poor son, he's like killing it with his legs. He's like, oh my gosh, I'm in so much pain. But like this time together is so precious to me. And look at that. It was first, first of all, it was just me and my son and look at my baby girl in the back. Now it's her too. So get it girl. share a non-scale victory with y'all first of all i know 75 hard you cannot drink alcohol i did not drink the alcohol they were probably all mad at me when they saw me pour it down the sink i did it purely for the beauty of the thumbnail <laughs> and anyways i'm really not doing 75 hard i'm just saying just in case someone's like you can't have alcohol i know and i didn't and i don't drink i might have a sip here and there but every time I do, I'm always like, Ugh, this is gross. So anyways, non-scale victory. So went down there with the kids. I wasn't gonna have anything because usually, especially I love charcuterie boards. They're very nostalgic for me too because growing up, anytime we had an event or people over, it was always pepperoni, cheese, crackers. Oh my gosh, it's just one of those things I just love. So making a charcuterie board, like girl, but girl, you can also go so crazy with the calories and they can add up and they do add up very quickly. So what I did was I just like put what I wanted, made sure I put like a bunch of fruit. I knew that crackers are like usually a trigger for me and if I had them, I might want more. So I was like, mm, let's not with the crackers. The pepperoni, I just had like three pieces and I had like a couple, I had two pretzels, which just kind of like give me a little taste and then a couple pieces of like little chocolates. I'm so proud of myself because the plate that y'all saw was what I had and that was it. Okay, that's not, shoot, I forgot, I'm vlogging or I'm doing a what I eat in a day, y'all will see it, but I'm doing it for TikTok and I totally forgot to add that, it's okay though. But I added it into my calories for the day and I am going to go over a little bit in my calories than I normally do, like by two, like three, four, five, like 250 or so, which isn't bad, especially because you guessed it, I took a two plus hour walk this morning. I am currently at whew, my move 
calorie burn says it's at 1600, but I have almost 14,000 steps in today. I will have close to 14,000 steps tonight. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm very proud of myself and I had to share that with y'all because a lot of times events like that are like very triggering for me because it's just like out on display, you get what you want. They're always like, get more, get more. Did you want seconds? Did you want thirds? Like when we left, they were like, are you sure y'all don't want to bring, make one to go? And I was just like, hmm. you know, and the kids were like, no. So I was like, okay, no, we're good. But, um, it's just, again, like reconditioning myself, allowing myself to enjoy events like that, but also not going absolutely crazy. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. And uh, I will catch back up with you guys when we do my skincare routine for the night. And uh, like I said, this is Friday's. It'll be Friday's skincare routine. And y'all are gonna see me without my hat. My hair is a mess today, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, but I'll see y'all in a few. I'm gonna go drink my water. I gotta go read. So I'm gonna drink my water and I'm gonna go do some reading. Okay, so jammies are on, the lashes are off. This is... Hopefully the fan isn't bothersome. I normally don't have it on, but lighting is much better. See, so look, much better lighting. So we're just gonna go with it for now. Hopefully it's not that bad, but what I do is, obviously this part only pertains to if I'm wearing makeup or not. Severe thunderstorm warning until 9.15. I have tried several several of these from It Cosmetics to, I think it was called Versed. This one's my favorite because I feel like none of them, I feel like between the It Cosmetics and this one, those two were my favorites. But if I'm going to choose between the It Cosmetics and this one, I feel like they perform pretty much the same. This one's way cheaper, so I would go with this one. So, I don't know where this little thing came from. I don't know if it was with, I don't think it comes with this one, but I just put it in here, and basically what I do is I just take the little spatula, and I'll just take about that much, I'll put it into my hand, like so, and then I'll put this little spatula thing back in there and put the top back on. I think this is like, I know it's definitely not more than $15, but I think it's about 11. I'll link all these products down below in the description box, by the way. Basically what you do with this is you just kind of take it between the palms of your hand, and then you just start going all over your face so it melts off the makeup. That is the purpose of this makeup and melting balm, is to essentially melt off your makeup. So, I'll just go around my face like so, go around my eyes. I have never noticed any burning with my eyes. I've also, I haven't noticed any irritation. I mean, does a really good job sometimes. Now you do that with no water. You need no water because you want, you want dry hands with that. Sometimes I'll go and I'll wet my hands and I'll just go around and kind of go like this. Especially if I'm wearing like a lot of makeup today. I wasn't wearing a lot of makeup. I just feel like that helps to kind of, it'll suds it up a little bit, but yeah, do not, do not use any water in that step until this part. Now, I know a lot of people do their skincare like this, I don't do that. I don't think I've ever done that. I will always just take a washcloth and I will just wipe it off. Like so. And then what I will do is I will go and I will wash my face. So basically whenever I am wearing makeup, I double cleanse because the makeup remover balm, the mel makeup melting balm, takes off your makeup. That is your makeup remover. This is your cleanser. So I've removed the makeup, now I'm cleansing my skin. So this is dirty, I need to like wipe it off. Um, this is the 
basically it's compared to Cetaphil um, and it's just Target's brand and I just do like two and a half pumps. I get it in my hand. I like this a lot. I think it's gentle. I just suds it up and then I will just go ahead and basically wash my face. I like this. Again, I've used a cosmetics cleanser. I've used other cleansers, but I like this one a lot. And this is the one I tend to reach for and keep going back to purchasing. And it's just, it does a good job and it's also not scented, which I would prefer all of my products to not have any scent in them. But we all know how that is. So anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and cleanse my face. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll go, fix my hands off. Take my washcloth and I will just wipe off all of the soap and then if I wasn't exfoliating then it would be at this point where I would take this product which is the Versed Week, Weekend Glow da Daily Brightening Solution. I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase this. Actually, I, I don't, I know I'm not, but this lasts a really long time. So, I just never really do toners. I don't know. I don't think that they really do anything for me. I also really don't do serums because all every time I've tried a serum, I always feel like I come back looking older. I don't know why, don't ask me, but I'm like, oh, I started using this serum and now I feel like my forehead wrinkles are more prominent than they are when I don't. So anyways, if I wasn't exfoliating, I would go in with this and then start the moisturizing process. But we are exfoliating and this is an expensive ass product, but y'all, when I tell you, this is so good. So definitely try to get it on sale. We have an Ulta gift card from someone your birthday's coming up, something. But this is the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Age Defying Exfoliator. I freaking love this, I've been using it for years. Basically, all I do is just, I'll go ahead, this is dry, I will wet this hand. So it's like a little wet, but not too wet. And I will go ahead and I will do this for two minutes. I will ask her to set a timer. Set a timer for two minutes. Hmm. And then I'll just exfoliate. And when I tell you, it polishes all of the dead skins off of your skin. Like, oh, it just, when I am doing this consistently and doing my face mask and doing my skincare and drinking my water and, you know, working out, my skin is so pretty and so glowy and it's not dry at all. This really helps, especially if you self-tan your face to get all the dead skin off. That was thunder. Um, I just, I really love this, but it literally makes your skin feel like a baby's bottom. I remember when I first started using this, I was like, whoa, what a difference in my skin. Like just the glowiness, the, um, you know, I could feel the smoothness of it. I just love it. Okay, so when that, when the two minutes is up, I just go ahead and I just, I don't know. I don't know if you can even see, but like my skin just looks so much smoother. It looks so much less dull. It looks so much glowier. Like, I, I freaking love that product and I will always have that product. And I use it once a week, but I think I'm gonna up it to twice a week and I'm gonna start doing it every Monday too. But I love this product. It lasts for a good bit too. It's two ounces. It's seventy-five dollars. Like I said, it's pricey and it up there, but I freaking love it. Okay, so now I will go in with this versed. Uh, what's it called? Toner, and I'll just apply it like you would a toner. 
lip hot pad. I make sure to always go around my nose because that's an area where makeup likes to cling to. So I go really good around my nose. I make sure to go on my neck because I do bring my foundation down my neck and then right around here. So if you can see that, I miss that with my cleanser, which I usually do. <sighs> There's more. And then a lot of times right here around my hairline too, there will still be some leftover bronzer. I don't think there was any left today, but sometimes it looks like that. And then from there, I don't really have a preference for an eye cream. Um, this one I just got from TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something like that. But this is just the Oasis 7 Retinol Eye Cream. Okay, this I have been using for years upon years upon years. I will try new products for nighttime and I will just consistently go back to this. I love how thick it is. I love how moisturizing it is. I don't like how scented it is. That's the one thing I'm like, if I could do away with something, it would be this scent. But it is so moisturizing, it's so luxurious, it feels good, it definitely is a little more expensive. But again, I can't tell you how many of these. It's called the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. It is the anti-aging armor. Now they also have one in a purple container and I've tried that too. That one is like a nighttime and it has a lavender scent to it. I don't love it. So I wouldn't and I won't repurchase that. But this one I will repurchase over and over and over and over again. And this is really great. I say I use it at night. But you can honestly use this in the daytime as well. You can use it both day and night. As a matter of fact, when my skin was looking the best, I was using this, by the way, I always make sure that I put the skincare on my hands because your hands and your eyes, those are the first places that show same signs of aging along with your neck. So make sure you're like taking your products down your neck and especially like right here on your decollete area. But um, I'm going to start going back to this day and night and see if my skin improves even more. Okay, and then I will take this. This is the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil. Just looks like this. And lately I've been like the Instagram and TikTok girlies and just taking the applicator and just putting some on my forehead, some on my cheek, some on my chin, holding my head back. <laughs> and then we're just going to rub in. You know, I know you're supposed to go like this. I know you are. I don't. If you want to, go ahead. I know you should. But I just, however many years in the habit of doing it this way, sometimes I will, but I don't know. I just, I prefer it like this. Like I said, this, well, you didn't, if y'all didn't see that vlog, you don't know, but I went and I volunteered yesterday and I was telling the woman about um, my daughter and stuff and she was like, how old is she? And I said, she's 13 and she said, you are not old enough to have a 13 year old. And I was like, <laughs> thank you. I was like, but not only do I have a 13 year old, I also have an almost 17 year old. So yeah, definitely. So I'm just saying like, I'm very much so aging gracefully. And I get told a lot, like for real, for real, I get told a lot that I look a lot younger. My kids, girl, they're gonna be 60 looking 20. <laughs> Anyways, at this point, I just now take my contacts out. And for those of you that wonder what my real eye color, <gasps> shocker, yes I know. <laughs> we went through that. We went through that in a video where someone was like, you're not even this straight eyes, you lied to us. But this is my real eye color. See, I don't know if you can see it, I don't know if it's picking up, but I do have like green in my eyes. So, yeah, that's all I'll do. And then I'll put on my glasses. And girl, I am ready for bed. My skin is glowy and pretty. See that? 
and I feel like this stuff, I'm telling you, this stuff and this stuff. These are products that you need. You also need to be taking off your makeup. So I say, out of everything that I've shown you tonight, these are the three products that you need. And the one thing that you absolutely need out of all of them, I have to tell you to go get one thing, it's this. Absolutely. Try and true. Repurchase all of these. All of these. I have repurchased this over and over again. I have repurchased this over and over and over and over again. And I have repurchased this over and over and over again. So, they actually sent me some for free one time. And that's how I got introduced to it. And I was like, oh, I like this. Alright, so that is going to do it for this video. I hope that you guys, like the fan wasn't too loud and too annoying. Um, but I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog before I finish first of all let me tell you i am so excited i really need to do my nails tonight i can't decide i have saint patrick's day nails which i've never had before and they're super super cute but if i put them on now they're not gonna look good still by the 17th and i know that I want them to look fresh, so I want to put them on next Friday. So we'll do that together, and I'll show them to you next week. But let me show you my steps, and I also have to tell you I'm so freaking excited. I get to sleep in tomorrow. <sighs> I'm so excited. I don't know why, but I also just got the taste for some peppermint tea, so I might make some because it's really good, and I'm literally craving it. I don't know why. Question. For those of you who have smoked cigarettes, it has now been... Two, two years and like two months for me. Yeah, I'm coming, coming on three months where I have quit smoking. Do you just like randomly, out of the blue, just get a, a cigarette craving? Like I won't see someone smoking. I won't smell it. it. I'll just be sitting here working, watching TV, doing my thing, cooking, whatever. And I'll just have this craving. And it's like... Not that I smell it, but like taste, it's just so weird. It's a craving. It's a legit craving. And it's so weird because I'll just be like, I literally do this every single time. Every single time it hits me, I'm like, where did that come from? And then I'll be like, and I'll just like, I'll literally just be like, oh, whatever. And I'll just go about my day. It'll literally hit me for like five seconds and it'll just go away. And it's like inconsistent on when and but it never lasts for longer than a couple seconds. I'm just telling you this right now because I have a really strong craving for some peppermint tea and I don't know why, but I'm about to make me some peppermint tea. But it's okay because peppermint tea is good for you. Um, but I just, I just thought that was crazy and really random. So anyways, I almost had a $15,000, $15,000 day. <laughs> Soon. Soon. I need 335 more sets. I mean, I will be there. I will be there by the end. What? Nothing. Oh, were you about to say something? Mm -hmm. I love you. Mm -hmm. Why am I craving this peppermint tea so bad? I will be at 15,000 steps by the end of the night because I still have to like, I still have to like do like things. I'm gonna make my peppermint tea. I'm gonna make my pudding my protein pudding because i have one every single night and i haven't eaten it yet so i need to go ahead and get on that um so i will definitely have fifteen thousand by the end of the night which makes me so freaking happy make sure you watch my tiktoks to make sure i'm also going to be i'm going to start uploading them as shorts here on youtube so you won't have to go to tiktok if you don't want to but um yeah fourteen thousand six hundred sixty five so make sure you check out day what is today um day 33 of 75 hard go check it out to see how many sets i ended up getting at the end of the night i usually will show it when i know i'm done like i am in the bed the only getting up that's getting done or being done is like me going to the bathroom and that's it so yeah i love you guys i hope you enjoyed this vlog um yeah have an amazing day i had such a good day Went on a really long ass walk with my friends, got to know her more, she got to know me more. Um, came home, got to relax a little, nice, that was really nice. 
Um, then we went and did the charcuterie thing. Me and the kids worked out together. I love it. It was a great day. So yeah, anyways, have an amazing day. I will see y'all on Wednesday with a weigh-in. And I'm already claiming that it is going to be an amazing one. So yeah, um, also I'm going to do, I don't know if it's going to be up on Monday or if it's already been up, but I'm going to do a one month result video for 75 hard and I'll do like a progress picture before and after, before and during, I guess. Um, Cause I'm excited to show y'all that too. But yeah, I love you. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.